Hey, Spectrum and Demon Slant. It's me, Fezzy. Spectrum and Fezzy here. Come to a video in this video. I am doing a new fusion verse, which is a combination of two universes. I've either made or pre existing. In this one, I'm taking dragons from my beast verse universe and then turning them into humans. But more or less, what if humans killed these dragons and gained their powers? I'm doing a new universe called the Beast Heroes universe. And, well, let's get into the video. Let's go. Okay. Uh, uh, well, turns out there is another universe. Uh, there's a hero universe out there. It's just full of random heroes with some abilities. Mixed with, oh, sorry. We're going to introduce my name. Um, my... Name is Scorn, and I'm the overseer of this new world. I'm going to tell you all a few stories and of these people. I've got files of all my of all these people. There, this universe is known as a fusion verse. A fusion verse is a mix between two different universes put together. This fusion verse is known as the Beast Heroes. It's a mix between the Beast Verse, where a good friend of mine named um, Spike looks over, you know, the one who did this last audio file, and um, and the other universe that was only a few hundred thousand years old. <clears throat> People are still gaining new abilities, and uh, well, I'm going to go over the first one. The first one is known as Cole Embers. Hero name Pyrotel. And these creatures, um, they killed a dragon. And it was the Infernal Club Tail. Since it killed, since he killed the dragon, he gained the ability of Pyrokinesis. And, um, get this. The Bugaku from the dragon itself. He his hero costume um, is pretty armored on the midsection and on the legs, but on the arms it's quite simple. It's just some patterns with some love with some very with some lighting with some fire flow going through it, and his his powers are. Can form a tail and set it on fire, flight, and pyrokinesis. He can use the pyrokinesis to make himself fly, or um, he can just use the flight itself, but the pyrokinesis makes the flight a lot faster. He's actually the leader of the infernal dragon, which is his hero team. I might go over more of them later on. Well, um, he bumped into this dragon about five years ago, uh, with his pa with a AK-47. He was a soldier in the war, and this was around 1945. Killed the thing, and for the record, dragons and monsters were already known of. And around this time, the World War was happening. So, and due to his powers, him not being born with them, he has people can be born with them. Um, he was knocked down and put, and knocked down, and fused into the ground for a few years. By infusing into the ground, I mean like, his powers sort of caused him to phase through into the ground, and he appeared into a cave. He then woke up about five years later, not really five, closer to around since uh, around 55 years later, not aging a day on account of his powers and his body adapting and learn and him practicing in his head, it's a weird story. He soon left and found his old home, realizing the world has changed and due to a few heightened abilities. Like speed, strength, and all that. All that was heightened due to him killing the dragon. He remembered that, oh yeah, I was out for... He looked around and was like, I was out for 55 years. Oh man. And 
now he has realized that people with powers have more have become more abundant and there are heroes. He at he was around nineteen when he was around yeah, nineteen ish when he, that happened. So now he's going to a school well he went to a school that trained these people. That trains people that were uh, born ye in around the 1800s to 1900s, and they were knocked out after gaining power from killing a creature. Well, let's get to the next one. This next one, he was born actually around the in the um, early 90s, and well, technically closer to around 18. Yeah, he was around. He was born during the eight. The 1970s, so he would have been around 30 if he didn't find a dragon, a wyvern dragon, known as the, right here, I'm going to look through other files, the Shadowy Dark Wyvern. He killed it and gained its abilities, but since, due to the fact that it wasn't a so Wyvern and a Lesser Drake he was only out for a few years. Still long time, but still. He woke up around the years. Um he woke up around nineteen ninety. And well not really nineteen ninety. He, he was born in the nineteen seventies, so he was around fifteen when he gained these powers. So yeah, nineteen nineties. This was when all those powers starting to kick off. And <laughs> looking at the prime universe of this multiverse, looking at it, it appears that the nineteen twenty, the um, twenty twenties actually take place during this time, meaning this place is pretty advanced. This is pretty advanced. So yeah, his abilities are that of um, can summon a shadow that is fueled by darkness and anger increases his, their Speed, strength, and stamina, and senses. But on the downside, if he feels too much of the power, anger, and all that, or it's too dark or somewhere around, a mix of those will actually cause him to take over the creature, take over his body. And due to all that, he's known simply as the hero darkness. And since, well, his story is that, the reason why he was... I don't know, about 15, was he was born into an abusive household, and he couldn't really get away until he was 15, because they finally sent him out, seeing that he was old enough to get them some smokes, and when they did, he bolted into the woods, trying to get away from them, and he finally did, but he found the wyvern, it gave, it gave off his die dying breath to him, which gave him his abilities, and due to that fact as well, he was only out for 25 years, compared to the 55 years guy. When he woke up, he was in the 1990s, <clears throat> he started, he found where he could register to be a hero, because these wyverns were incredibly smart, and he knew that, hey, I was out for 25 years already, because he kept count in his head. But due to the powers being transferred to him, his face became more of a um, evil looking one. But he's actually a really nice guy. So he disowned his last name. So I can't find it anymore because everyone lives their own life and I can't find it. His now knows goes, goes by Draco. And let's get to the next one, shall we? Hey guys, I just wanted to do this minute of interruption saying, please hit the like button so this video can be pushed out there more. And um, also the fact that I'm trying to more diversify my videos. Um, I plan on making a, another Marvel DC My Hero Academia mashup video. If you got any ideas for the three, for three characters, um, please put that in the comment section below. I might do that for another one, besides this next one. Um, <clears throat> well, let's get back into video. Into this video. Let's go!
Another one that was abused as a child. Name, Fevor. Which is another word for lust. Hey, Karumba, I hate these people. I'm tempted enough to have my... Uh, Spike to send over a few demons to attack their attack her family. She won't really care. I remember, but she's actually that caused her personality to change. She's still a really bubbly person, girl, but um, her she was born in the eighteen not eighteen hundreds um twenty. She was actually born around the twenty twenties, and um she around twenty twenty one. And all these um, most recent events have been happening in around 2030. So, yeah. Um, 2021. And this was a dragonette. So, only about a two-year coma for her. Um, she finally ran away from home from a very bad abuse situation right then and there. She got out and now... Like Draco, she found him, and they are now really good friends, and they both have feelings for each other. <laughs> Funny enough, um, she is known. Uh, she's one of the team, one of the team members known as the Seven Deadly Dragons. Reason being is because each dragon is a um, symbolism of one of the seven deadly sins. She goes by Speed Lust because her powers. Allow her to emit an odor that can knock someone out cold, can fly, and is very fast. So, speed lust just sounded accurate for her. Um, the lust dragon that was in the other universe was a racing dragon. Um, her abilities... She's actually a really nice girl, but she doesn't really trust uh, most men a whole lot. Because of her abuse and all that. Ay, caramba. Um, the odor is... She can change its physical properties. So it can be more dense, more light, or, um, more... Or it can expand quicker. But each of those have drawbacks. If she expands quicker, it takes a little bit more to breathe in for them to knock out. More dense, maybe half a second flat, they lay out cold. <clears throat> um... Easy to see. Same properties as maybe two seconds. Um, she can also use it to increase her own speed from putting her hands behind her and running like Naruto. But the um, the gas emitting is act. She can actually change the properties to be very to be um, non knockout and just speed. She can spit it out very fast from her hands. Causing her to be boosting very fast. Without her, without it, she can already run around 25 miles per hour. But with it, she can bump it up to 35. So she's pretty fast. Let's get to the last one of today. Favor's hero name is Speed Favor because Favor is just another word for lust. And now let's get to the next hero. Okay, this next one. Is is another female, and her name is Trishy Smith. Your name is Sticky Balls, on the count that of her hair is the a physical mutation caused by from her powers. Um, she killed the Sticky Drake. It was spying on her. For the record, Sticky Sticky Drakes are very preferred, very preferred to Drakes. I'm surprised no one has actually killed them, just wiped them out of the face of the earth. Pretty sure the only reason why is because in both this universe and the other one, they are very good racing dragons. Racing drakes, when they are not, when they're raced properly. In the wild, they are always, always, always perverted. They always spy on the females of either their race, or other species. They nearly always get trampled into the ground. But back to her. Um, her powers are very simple. Very fast and can form sticky balls. Um, by form it means that 
it can suck in the air around her and use chemicals to make it make a really sticky ball. Or she can pluck one off the um little mass on the back of her hair. But she can also make it go away by cutting her hair off, by cutting that little part off. And then but she only uses that at extreme measures. Or when it's getting on her last nerve. Which is most likely the latter most of the time. Um when cut off is basically a ticking time bomb. Um, when she throw, when she throws and it hits the ground, ten seconds later, <laughs> explodes and the sticky substance of the bowls goes everywhere, making everyone who was caught in it villain and or citizen get trapped in it. She isn't a really effect. She's a really effective hero, but and she isn't a pervert at all actually. She can be though when the part of her power does take over from time to time but she has good control over that part um since she is fast her legs are she actually wears um about knee height shorts in order for her to be most comfortable when running she wears big gloves so that way um the balls when they go into their her hand they don't stick she had your the average lifespan. She wasn't. She was only knocked out for a day, due to how weak the uh, sticky drink is. Well, that's all the um, heroes from the Beast Hero Beast. I forget this is universe. Sorry, the Beast Heroes universe. And that's all I have got time for going over these people today. This is all I got time for today's video. Until next time, subscribe to Adrian Spike Stummery or Demonster Alliance. Goodbye and peace out.